Welcome to video four of element four. That is the amateur extra license exam. We're in sub element one delta. What is the definition of telemetry? The answer is a one way transmission of measurements at a distance from the measuring instrument. So tele te telemetry is a one way transmission. And um, that is usually your space stuff uh, or a balloon perhaps which of the following may transmit encrypted messages you know encryption in amateur radio is usually a no-no but there are some exceptions the correct answer from these choices is telecommand signals from a space telecommand station What is a space telecommand station? It's an amateur station that transmits communications to initiate, modify, or terminate functions of a space station. And now you know why they might want to be encrypted, because if somebody else gets those commands, they could do harm to a space station. So that is why the FCC allows that. Which of the following is required in the identification transmissions from a balloon-borne telemetry station telemetry and that is the call sign that is how you identify normally your call sign what mu what must be posted at the location of a station being operated by telecommand on or within 50 kilometers of the earth's surface now notice that this is not space because we learned a long time ago, 50 kilometers and below is not space. So all of these choices are correct. You must have a photocopy of your station license. You need to have a label with your name, address, and telephone number of the licensee and the name, address, and telephone number of the control operator. All of these choices are correct. So there's some preparation if you're going to operate by telecommand. What is the maximum permitted transmitter output power when operating a model craft by telecommand? And that is one watt. That's all you get, one watt. Which of the following HF amateur bands include allocations for space stations? And you'll be surprised that it's 40, 20, 15, and 10. Those are the regular bands. Now, if you look at the handband chart, you have some other bands. They're work bands. So you have 40, 30 is a work band, 20, 17 is a work band, 15, 12 is a work band, and 10 meters. Which VHF amateur bands have frequencies authorized for space stations? That's 2 meters because VHF. 2 meters. There's no 6 meters. It's only 2 meters. Which UHF amateur bands have frequencies authorized for space stations? Now, UHF is your ultra high frequencies, and that is 70 centimeters. And at 70 centimeters, sometimes we want to say 440, but it's 70 centimeters and 13 centimeters. Uh, if you're saying 440, that's not the band, that's the frequencies. So the band is the wavelength, 70 centimeters, 13 centimeters. What amateur stations are eligible to be telecommand stations of space stations subject to the privileges of the class of the operator license held by the control operator of the station? And that is any amateur station so designated by the space station licensee. Any amateur station so designated by the space station licensee. Question number 11. Which, which amateur stations are eligible to operate as Earth stations? Any amateur station subject to the privileges of the class of operator license held by the control operator. So if you're a technician, you probably aren't going to be able to use the voice section of 40 meters. You might be able to do the CW portion. If you're a technician, 
you can't use 20 meters. You can only do CW on the 15 meters. And you can only do use this slice right here of 10 meters. So it's all based on what your license class is and the privileges thereof. And question 12. Which of the following amateur stations may transmit one-way communications? Normally, broadcasting is not permitted, but a space station, beacon station, or telecommand station may transmit one-way communications. I'm Rob W1RCP73, and good luck.